Alright, welcome back to Pixelmon Showdown! We've got a Psyduck, Tortuga, Wobbuffet, Gengar, Sceptile, and Arcan. Who I don't I didn't even have time to check everyone's move sets. Oh I got ten seconds. Uh please be good. Okay, good. The, the Gengar has confused Ray. So we'll actually be able to do something with Gengar. Alright. So I don't even know what round version we have, so I don't know what to expect from people. What was it, trade or whatnot? Barely made it in in time. I no, there's one fossil, I believe, and maybe. Yeah, I got a trade. Tortuga. And it looks like one trade evolution because I have a Gengar. That I've got two. I've evolution. actually got two fossils and then a Wobbuffet. Gengar. All right. A Wobbuffet. Yeah. So the Wobbuffet's useless. Um, actually, probably is less than useless because none of the moves work and they actually break. Um, okay, we got a Star You. Which is part psychic, so Shadow Ball, and we're going to be faster than it. I think Staryu loses out. Oh, Sweat sends out the Anorith, which we are still faster than, so that's fine. Alright, what else is he got? Alright, a Gliscor. Um, that is... Dark flying? No, that's ground flying. Ground uh, yeah, flying. Has, flying. Crap, has crap special defense. Then we'll just hit it with a shadow ball and be done with it. Oh! It survived it and hit me with acrobatics, but we'll at least kill it off on the next hit. I am only a level 18 Gengar, so my power isn't up high enough to one-shot things. Oh, switched into Politoed. Alright, well, I'm still faster than that, so I guess I can just keep shadow balling. Go Gengar, go Gengar. Gengar sweep. Yeah, it might ha happen. I don't think Staryu is actually going to survive um, it, though. I don't know. Or maybe Staryu will survive. Gengar. I caused someone to flinch with Toxic. Interesting. <laughs> Gengar. Oh. Oh. Damn, this Shadow Ball is just wrecking. Oh, okay, he killed it. Alright, um, it's a Squirtle, so separate. And you got your Echo again, Pass, unfortunately. I'm not talking, bro. I don't know what's going on. Or maybe it's Sean G echoing. He's using speakers. Alright, what do we have? Absorb, False Swipe. Ugh, Solar Beam's a two move. Um, I guess try Absorb. I don't want to take a turn charging Solar Beam because he's going to know what's going on. Okay, that was enough to kill it. Alright, Gliscor's flying. Um, ground flying, so we're actually going to be neutral to it. I don't want to use Absorb, because it's... Well, it's neutral, but Absorb is super weak, so I guess False Swipe's the way to go. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. It wouldn't have killed him, but at least it did some damage. Alright. Ground flying. Psyduck is actually not a bad choice here. Wow, we have water... We have Surf on Psyduck. Yes, please. Psyduck's poison, but he used Surf. Alright, Starmie comes out. Um, crap. Alright, uh, let's just see if we can do some damage to the Starmie with Water Pulse. Nope. Alright, what can handle... I think Arcan had Dragon Breath. It's really a bad matchup. Tortuga's bad. Wobbuffet won't help us because none of its moves work. Arkin's gonna die so bad. I think he might have just turned this around by killing my Gengar and still keeping a star you al star me alive. Just rock and water moves on the Tortuga. I don't know what I was expecting. Um, rock Tomb, I guess. Oh, we survived the Shy Shock, though, so that's good. Oh, good, we lowered its speed with Rock Tomb. That's actually helping us. So we might be able to beat it out with Arkin now. Archin now. Alright, so the only thing we can do is Dragon Claw and hope for the best. Ow. Okay, we live through Psy Shock. Oh no, he's still faster than us, though. Damn it, we didn't reduce its speed enough. Alright, Wobbuffet, have a move. Counter, Mirror Coat, Destiny Bond, Safeguard. Oh boy. I don't think any of these are going to actually work. 
Destiny Bond? Um, okay, he's hitting me with Psychic, so Mirror Coat. Ah, oh, he confused me. No. That reduces my chance to do anything to him even more. Oh, and now he's switching over to Shit Swift. So we'll try Counter. He'll probably switch back. No, oh, Counter doesn't do anything anyway. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, me too. Wobbuffet doesn't do anything for us on the team. Damn. Really need to get Wobbuffet's moves fixed. I've got a Rampardos with the only Wait, did I just do damage with him? Alright, I'm gonna try Mirror Code again. Yeah. Oh, he has Recover on the freaking thing. <coughs> oh, alright, just kill me. I'm just gonna Destiny Bond for the rest of it. Yeah. Or I'll just Safeguard the whole time. We can just draw this out for days. Ah, oh, recover, really? <laughs> He's doing it just to troll. Uh. All right, one, one fossil, fossil Pokemon. Ooh, ninety random. level ninety six. Five randoms. All right. If that's his last Pokemon. All right. Well, I had a partial team well. with Arken Fira, but it's gonna I get reset. I got two shield ons. Okay, we got an Almanite, oh a Caesar, a Weezing, a Golbat, a Vile Plume, and a Dratini. My team sucks. Anorith, Weedle, Shiny Weedle, <laughs> Magmortar, Paris, and Polyrath. Oh no! Why does Almanite have to be a special attacker? I have Waterfall. Oh, so I think uh, Brine is going to be better. But I do have Shell. I could set up a Shell Smash Brine. Holy crap. That's an interesting hidden power. Let's see, Night Slap, wow. That is a very, very bad... Razor Wind for Caesar. that's not good. Night, so it looks like I'm Night Slashing with him. I've got... Wow. Uh, Clear Smog actually does 50 damage, so that's a decent one. I've got one. three first form fossil types. Um, let's see, we've got... Wow. Okay, we got U-Turn with Golbat. Not a lot of good moves there. Um, ooh, okay, Sludge, okay, so Vile Plume's got good moves, and, ooh, yes, okay, we're doing this, the Dratini Sweep, all right, come on, Swagger, this is gonna be good, this is gonna be good, or terrible, this is gonna be terrible for me. Also, for all those guys in chat, I'm not the person to be reporting bugs with Pixelmon 2. Report it to the bug tracker on the Pixelmon website, and then it gets filtered into all of our devs' to-do lists. You're up against Tato Tornado. Alright. See how well this works. So I can set up Dratini and Almanite. Alright, it's a Dratini versus Archaeops, I think. Oh no! That is terrible, because Archaeops might have dragon moves. It usually has Dragon's Breath or Dragon Claw. Crap. Alright, um... I had Sturdy help me out. What the hell can I... I don't even have anything good against it. Um... Alright, Caesar's... Oh, he disconnected. <laughs> Shit. Well... Holy crap, look at the size of that Charizard. It was huge. You can watch me just get wrecked by a Rhyperior. Alright, well, Vasquez... Did Vasquez get a team? Or did he just join? Yeah, I'm over here. In their corner. Ha. Ah. Let me pokey heal Vasquez's. I'm still in battle. Vasquez, not you. Not Vasquez. No. Did I spell that right? We'll get a battle in. 
We will get a battle. All right. All right, Dratini versus Snivy. Now this is a good, good matchup. Because then we can Dragon Dance, because he can't do any damage with either normal or grass type moves, because I resist both of them. Yeah, Leaf Storm doesn't do very much, so we can Dragon Dance, that increases our attack and speed. We can do it one more time. Actually, let's do it one more time. Three Dragon Dances! Okay. That keeps us at three quarters health. I don't want to do it more, even though he can't really do any damage. Well, one more time. Four. I'm getting greedy. I shouldn't be doing this. But it still keeps us at half health. Alright, he switched out Rhyhorn. Good. That's perfect. Then we can just Dragon Rush. Right hits. Does it have low accuracy? I think it's like 75. All right, because we've got four levels of speed and four levels of attack, so that's gonna... It didn't one-shot. Oh, he drill-runned me and one-shot me. All that prep, if I had just attacked, I would have wiped him out. Oh, I got greedy. Oh, I got greedy. Okay. Um, Caesar will work well. Good Night Slash, because we resist, we resist the rock. Every single one of this guy's Pokemon has swagger. <laughs> Not fun for a guy I can sweep with one Pokemon. Alright, Need Arena comes out. Um, I guess we'll keep Night Slashing. We're immune to the poison, so he might have some fighting, but it won't do a ton of damage. Thunderbolt. Oh, he paralyzed me with Thunderbolt. He one-hit KO'd me with Horn Drill. I think that's broken. I'm gonna have to add one-hit KO moves to the band move list. Which, of course, is not working, but I'll eventually make sure I figure out how to work it. Alright, he's got a ground poison, which means Vile Plume's a good choice against him. Or no, he's just a poison type. Now, uh, which one? Nidorino. Yeah, pure poison. In either case, Sludge Bomb will still do some damage while preventing us from being damaged by Thunderbolt or any poison moves. Wait, is it poison? I thought... Does it get ground at the third stage? Yeah, the final form, I believe it's... Oh, I guess they aren't broken. What, the one-hit moves? Yeah, no, they just not. failed. It, you just gotta get really lucky to get them all. Yeah, and since everyone's at even level, it has a chance of working. Oh. Okay, yeah, um, an Oshawott. That probably has an ice move, so let's stun spore it. Hydro Pump. Okay, not sure why you're going with the Hydro Pump against a Grass-type. He must be out of options, which is good. Nope, Blossom comes out, down. and Sludge Bomb is now super effective against other grass types, because they don't have the half poison. Blossom died, and that was a shiny one. Alright, Almastar. Again, that... If only I had a grass move, it'd be quad affected, but we can still keep hitting with poison. Ow, Giga Impact hurts, though. Unfortunately, we don't have any heal moves. But that's once every two turns. Yep. So the question is whether it's going to kill me, or if I'm going to have, like, two health well, left. 65 health left. Yeah, I think he crit the last time. Alright, Snivy comes back out, who is weak to Sludge Bomb. Yep. I am slow, but Leaf Storm doesn't do enough damage. Leaves him with Ashwat. And quad, Sludge Bomb uh, well. Quad resist. Uh, not quad. Grass resist, grass, poison resist. Did he manage grass. to kill your. Nope, four health. GG. Oops. That Vile Plume is a beast. Uh, I think the server might have froze up. Oh no. That could possibly have been my fault because I accidentally activated the craft guide bug mod that I have. <laughs> I meant to type GG and it just activated with a G. Um, I so okay, I will get fixed up for next round, but at least we had a battle. Um, so I'll be right. And we're back. Uh, Alright, so we got a level on, 90 man. Chandler, level 90 Glaceon, Espeon, Gengar, Graveler, and Pidgey. See if any of good go. moves. 
Ooh, huh. I got a shiny Gliscor. Confused Rain, Flame Boss on Chandler. That's good. We've got Ice Shard and Icy Wind on Glaceon. Hidden Power, so let's see. Hidden Power 2. Dragon Type Power 31. Not exactly the best. All right. Uh, oh, jeez. Um, yeah, the Espeon, a little less than useless. Swagger, Tackle, and Last Resort. <laughs> uh, I got Hidden well, Power got on, uh, Gengar, so we need to look at that. Ah, we got Stone Edge, Rollout, Rock Tomb, Explosion on Graveler. And we've got Toxic on our Pidgey. <laughs> I didn't even know Pidgey could learn Toxic. Yeah, almost every Pokemon can learn Toxic. Such a weird move, I didn't, you never see that. Alright, Hidden... Power 4. Gengar's Hidden Power is a Ghost type. Power 56. Huh. Which is actually good because all we have is Sucker Punch, which is a Dark type. And the bad priority. problem about that, though, is if you look at the move list, it'll show a type it. And I don't think it sh reads up right. Uh, it says normal. It'll always be nor. It should list normal. I I've had it shown up bug. I've had it shown up fighting. Yeah, hidden power should always list itself as normal because you're not supposed to know what element it is without until you figure it out. It's still considered well, ghost. Well, you should I mean, get yeah, stab off. It's still though. Yeah, yeah. I, I will get stab off, but so. I usually do about three or four rounds. For those of you wondering how many rounds I do. All right, Gla Chandler versus Flareon. It's a pretty good common or matchup. So let's confuse it. Someone has a Groudon. We resist all of its all the evolution lines normal moves, and fire moves aren't going to do much damage to us. So he's probably going to switch. So I'll confuse what he switches into. Flareon, Chandler. Nope, nope. He's sticking with the Flareon. Oh, tries to use Dig, and he snapped out of confusion, really? All right. Well, if you want to use Dig, I'm sure Pidgey will be more than happy to fight you. How about that, Flareon, huh? Are you glad you used Dig? Have some Toxic. All right, then he just hit me with a physical attack, so then we'll switch over to Chandelure again. We'll dodge that Someone next got attack. A on. Oh, he dug a hole. All right, that's fine. You can dig a hole all you want. We'll switch back to Pidgey. And then we'll hit you with Tackle or Quick Attack. I think it's faster than me, so I think Quick Attack's the better strategy here. Oh, I did not do a lot of damage. Fire Spin, missed with it. And Quick Attack again, it should die from the Toxic. Oh, we're going up again. Ugh. Do we have anything to kill the Alakazam with? I mean, I guess we could poison it, too. Um... Yeah, we'll hit it with Toxic. It might help us out. Psycho Cut doesn't kill me. Okay, we badly poisoned it. Now we can quick attack, so we'll get the attack in before he hits us. Alright, and then we can switch to our Gengar, who can use his hidden power... To kill it. Actually, I should have just used Dark Pulse, wouldn't it? That made more sense. Or no, I got Dark Punch or Shadow. Was it Dark Punch? I don't remember. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. All right, so we have Glyscore, which is Ground Flying. Glaceon would destroy it. Let's switch to Glaceon because we have Ice Shards. So we can go first. So we're gonna take a hit. Sky Uppercut hits, and then we'll hit it with Ice Shard. Oh, it didn't do enough damage. But we'll still kill it this round with Ice Shard. Nice. Trying to find where you're fighting. Oh, there you are. Alright, we got a Crustall, which is Bug Rock, which is good against us. Our hidden power is Dragon type, so that won't help us here. So I would use a rock type move against it. So let's use Graveler. Oh, but it was preparing oh, to do it's a so attack. it's preparing to do a solar beam. Uh, that could hurt. Uh oh. I think Chandler can tank a solar beam. Yep. 
It's your best bet. Yeah, I didn't do very much there. Whew. That's why Solar Beam isn't good in battles versus humans, because people Unless are intelligent. Sunny, yeah. Oh, Poliwag comes out. Oh, wow. I did half damage with a flame burst. I'm just going to do another half damage flame burst and kill the Poliwag. Coughing comes out. Flame burst for you as well. 70 power, 100 accuracy. It died, and the Crustal should die to it. Oh, Rock Blast. And... Yeah, it did a decent amount. Quarter health. And then back to the Flareon, which is still toxic. So we're gonna hit it with Flame Burst and just finish it off. Doesn't Flareon have Flash Fire? No. Nope. Flash Fire isn't in. Alakazam. And we'll... F oh, shoot. I didn't even think of that. I gotta remember to pay attention to that from now on. GG. It's a good game. Hey, it was Vasquez. We fought last time, too. <laughs> Gengar. Gengar versus Golem. Not a matchup I'd envy. Depends on <laughs> what, what moves everyone gets, though. Well, remember, Gengar has uh, Levitate. True. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting he has Levitate now. Oh, the abilities are messing me up so much because I'm so used to battling without them. I shall fuse with this golem. <laughs> oh, he don't want me. He shook me off his back. So funny watching you guys, like, standing on it. I'm gonna jump onto the Gengar. Or not. Let's see, can I do it? No, I cannot. Ow. I just broke my legs. Hmm. Yeah, we really need to add a spectator mode, so this becomes a lot more entertaining rather than just looking at their health bars. Like, they're not doing any damage to each other. Yeah. Wait, is there another... There is another... Holy crap, there's a two, like, Golem uh, versus Gengar fights going on right now. Is there another Golem vs. Gengar? <laughs> the other uh, Gengar was gone. There's a Gigalith vs. Garupi up here. It was literally right across from the uh, uh, other one. And for those of you wondering and keep asking, it's 3.1.4, so it's the 1.7.2 version. I haven't updated any of the mini games to 1.7.10 because there are still it's still beta versions for the 1.7.10 stuff, and we're getting things figured out. There's a few issues I have to smooth out. Although, admittedly, battles run a lot better in 1.7.10. There's just a couple uh, minor setup issues with the 1.7.10 Minecraft. Can Glyscore learn fly? Uh, it should be able to. Does that mean you can fly around on them? I no. don't think so. I think the only flying you can score? learn is aerial ace and uh, acrobatics. You're also Equin. Oh, damn it! I don't have Not TM list on the server. Oh. I need to put uh, the move. I'll look up real quick. I'm pretty sure it's only aerial ace and acrobatics, though. Either way, it still has some pretty good moves. Any stab 110 power move is nothing to scoff at. Oh yeah, definitely. What's the accuracy on it? 100%. Damn. Aerial Ace is always... Well, Aerial Ace is 60 power. No, I was talking about acrobatics. It's normally, I think, 55, but without an item, it's 110. Yeah, it doubles if you don't have a held item. It's, it's really one of those moves that bugs me, because it's like, I really want to use a held item. So you have to build your entire you strategy around. It. Yeah. It pays off. You're doing a move that's, what, almost 170 power? Roost is what bugs me. It's the only heal game where you lose your abilities, or type advantage. Alright, level 24 round. One starter, one special, three random, and a fossil. Let's see what we get. I think... 
Got a Kranidos, the best fossil oh. I could get. Oh, oh. GG, I oh, win. Oh, oh. Ghost, I win. Oh. Charizard and Venusaur. What'd you get? I win. Yeah, only flying moves it can learn is aerial. Ghost, attack come down here and look. Look. look why I win. Yeah, <laughs> magic carp. Did you uh, seriously win with a magic card? So I've got yep. two Pip Primplops, an Umbreon and an Espeon, a Kranidos and a... Wow. Well, that Umbreon is going to be legendary. Confuse Ray and Tackle, because I can't use Substitute. Ancient Power on Kranidos. Pursuit and Payback. Not very good movesets. That's an interesting I got Psybeam on Espeon. All right, Bubble Beam, Drill Peck, Brine, and Grass Knot on Primplop. I don't have a good team, And though. then Peck, Whirlpool, Fury Attack, Strength. Okay, so the, the, the Piplops are good. I'm saving Magikarp for the end. He's going to be my final Pokemon. Um, oh, that's going to be hard. So I think I want to start with... Well, I might as well start with the Umbreon. Could start with a Confuse Ray and then just keep tackling whatever I fight. <laughs> and I can always switch to the Primplups if they switch into a Dark type. Or a Rock type. Alright, 20 seconds left. Plus the 15 second startup. <laughs> I wonder how much difference natures make in this, since none of them are EV trained. About a 10% difference. <laughs> well, thank you, Captain Obvious. Up against Goldie555. I think at a level 100, it would be like another 50 points in one stat, so... Yeah, but I mean, at level 24, it's not a huge stat increase. I don't know. Yeah, so I guess cut in half 12 points, which is nothing. <laughs> All right, neither and female. Um, confuse Ray it because it might have toxic spikes, so we'll keep it from activating that. Nope, Crunch. Not sure what was going for Crunch. Oh shoot, neither and females have to po poison point, aren't that? Don't they? I believe so. Oh crap! All right, I'm gonna have to switch rather than tackling. Um, it is poison, so I don't want to go Trico. So let's go Espeon. It's the only one I know that has a special move that I can remember. Poison Sting, crit hit. Alright, we'll have a Psy Beam. Alright, Iggly Buff. Well, we could just hit that with another Psy Beam. You also have Morning Sun to heal up, so that's good. Oh my god, kill it, Satan. Rampardos. Also not known for its high defense. Shiny Rampardos, no less. Oh, and I confused it with Psybeam. All the luck. I actually have Morning Sun and Rest. So it's a little bit overpowered. That's kind of funny. Oh, oh, that's a Caterpie. Gotta watch out. For... Actually, I really do actually have to watch out for the Caterpie. But I one-shot it. Oh, it's Glaceon versus Espeon. Battle of the Eevees. And another Psybeam. Go, Magikarp! <laughs> Tackle! You're already down to your last Pokemon? Ow, right. Hidden Power Hurt. I'm just wasting out his close combat. Alright, let's heal up. Loving that Morning Sun. And then we can outpower it with Psybeam. We might need one more Morning Sun to beat it out. All right, Charmeleon comes out. Well, Morning Sun to heal up and then attack. Psy Beam. Damn, that strength is hitting hard, but I think we're hitting harder. Yes, GG, sir. Espeon won us the round. Oh, shiny Golbat. Saw that for a second. Metagross, Gyarados, Dodrio. Oh, Kling Clang. Nice to see we have a lot of variety. I'm on my final Pokemon. Figure for a random game mode, there should first. be. That's Glaceon, one shot the Drift Blim. 
The size of that Blastoise, holy crap. Final one, Umbreon versus Glaceon. Who shall win? Come on, freeze, freeze your battle. Not oh, I froze anymore. him with Blizzard. I'm yes. upstairs. Trying oh, and I'm to... missing with Blizzard. Oh, I see you there. Oh. Like, how many people oh. with bright green skins can there be? But did you lose? <laughs> I know. I... I lost. That hyper beam on the Magikarp didn't help any. <laughs> Too bad it can't have hyper beam. I should totally put that on the TM list for Magikarp, so they just always have Hyper Beams. It's the only thing on the other list. <laughs> they do have that open slot. Okay, I'm going to restart my computer. That way I can get this rename off the middle of my screen because it's bugging me. I'll be back. Alright. That way I can also be ready if we play a game after. Alright, what battle should we watch? I think the Glaceon. Oh, that battle finished up. I guess we're trying to do a quick battle? Or... No, nah, there's not enough time. Not at level 24, we won't do enough damage to kill each other quickly. My Charizard can. Did I tell you what my team was? What was it? Leafeon, Empoleon, Charizard, Venusaur, Weep Veil, and Kurtaga. Damn. And the Charizard, the starters. Had, Charizard had Focus Blast, Shadow Claw, Dragon Rage, and Wing Attack. That's a really good one. I got Venusaur with Pell Dance, Attract, Double Edge, and Leaf Seed. I really don't know what happened with the, uh, with the move, or illegal moves code that I wrote, because it shouldn't allow Dragon Rage, because that's just overpowered on low levels. Oh, I, I only use it as a finisher. I forgot that I probably could one shot. Yeah. Well, no, most of the Pokemon here didn't have 40 health. It's only if it's, like, under level 5, but then it's just, like, one shots. Yeah, Wing Attack was wrecking a Blissey. Alright, let's see how many matches are still going on. I think there's one up top, looks like. Yep. Oh, all right. Four random Pokemon, one stone evolution, and one fossil. All right. Let's see how we can do this round. Electivire, Arcan, a shiny Victory Bell, a Stantler, a Pidgeot, and an Iglybuff. Well, I think we know the weak link on this team. I got Wigglytuff. Um, Frustration, Copycat, Sweet Kiss, Pound. Well, at least it gets Stab on Frustration. Um, wow. Quick Attack and Tackle. I love how it keeps giving me Round. Actually, Round is a pretty good move on Pidgeot, because it gets Stab off the normal. Oh yeah, Take Down and Stomp and Solar Beam off of Stantler. Vine Whip, um, and Return. Not the best ones on the Victory Bell. Endeavor, Crunch, Scary Face, Return on Arcan, and, ooh, Discharge on Electivire. I think he's a... And he's actually a physical attacker. He's pretty even with both, though, so... Either Discharge or Thunderball. He also has Rock Climb, which will help. Alright. Anyone have any... Uh, let's see. Boost Pokemon Speed stat in Sunshine. And Cute Charm may cause the Pokemon Infatuation. Which I'm not sure we actually have Infatuation coded incorrectly yet, so... Don't know. We'll start off with Iglybuff to get it out of the way, and we can respond to threats from there. Ah, Twister hits even if they're in the air. Okay, that's nice. Yep. I will remember I that. actually think it should do double damage, but then again, it's a weak move, so... No, it'd be an 80 power if it did double damage, so... Only in that situation. Kind of like Earthquake, except Earthquake's overpowered Earthquake. anyway. More or less, if you're underground and get hit by an earthquake, you just die. Yeah. Yeah. There's no resistance for that. Well, actually, no, no. Is there any grass type or something that's resistant to ground type that could like dig? dig? So there we go. Leafeon no digging might survive an earthquake. Yeah, but it's 200 power, so even if it's half resisted, it's still a. Leafeon does have a high physical defense. Or five or four attacker. True. Eh, it's still taking a full-powered earthquake, so it's still gonna hurt. Well, there goes my plan. They sent a chandelier out against me. 
I'm up against uh, the same. So I'm up against Goalie that. again. <laughs> so I was right. It does do double damage and fly. Um, I think I'm just gonna let Igly Buff die because I don't want to switch into a Chandler because they're pretty dangerous. Really, you just used a Confuse Ray, which had no effect on me. Really? Chandelure. Um, I'm just gonna let's see. Do I have anything that'd be good against Chandler? I should have switched out. Damn it! I could have taken advantage of that. All right, looks like Arken is my best bet. Yeah, I think Arkin is my best bet. Arkin. Willow Wisp. Okay, he burned me, but that didn't do a lot of damage, so we can crunch. Oh, it almost killed him. Oh, and he hexed me. No. All right, Victory Bell is not Victory Bell is not going to get a lot of attacks to kill, so one Vine Whip should be the only thing you can kill with. Nice. Did enough damage to get a kill. So we got value out of Victory Bell as well. Alright, do we have anything better for dealing with Camerupt? Alright, we're Victory Bell, so he's likely going to hit us with Fire. Nothing I have is going to be able to resist Fire very well. So we'll switch into Igly Buff, let it take the hit, which might cause Infatuation. Or allow us to switch out to somebody else. Alright, Lake Devire is not a good choice. So it looks like Stantler is our top option. So we'll do a stomp for chance of paralysis. No paralysis. Alright, Lava Plume is not quite doing half damage to us, so we can survive two more, so I think we actually will kill him because we're faster. Oh, send out Shield on. Ooh, that's Steel Rock, which means it's even. Damn it, that wouldn't help. Um, Electivire won't really help here. Victory Bell won't really help here. I don't want to use Solar Beam. Um, so I guess Stomp is just kind of the way to go. Hope for the Paralysis. Oh, got the Flinch. Stomp has Flinch, that's what it was. Well, we can keep Flinch locking him. That'll work. Oh, he flinched again! Um, I think flinching may be a little bit broken. Not really, actually. I was using Bite and only got to flinch one. I like that 12 times I used it. Like, I just flinched three it's, times it's in a row on him, so... It's RNG. You're just being really lucky. <laughs> yep, and I just missed the last two, so it's not broken. We're slowly whittling down each other's health. Are there freaking Rayquazas in the background? Yeah, it's all a Rayquaza. He's destroying my speed, but that's actually fine. Come on. Nope, he managed to kill us. Okay, so Victory Bell should be able to seal this fight as well with a Vine Whip. Nice. And we're right back to the same old situation where nothing can really take the Flame Burst. So I think I'm just going to let Victory Bell die, but maybe we can hit Return. I don't know if her Return works. I did half damage, damn. Uh, return should work, because Frustration yeah. works. But Return, I, for a 70 happiness with Victory Bell, that was a lot of damage. Alright, and then... Let's do Round for Stab. Nice. Oh, jeez, Lava Plume Crit hit me. All right. Comes down to Electivire, and luckily we have Rock Climb as a normal type move. All right, that goes down the camera up. What else does he have? Rampardos. Um, Rock Climb is not going to be effective, so let's discharge him. Decent damage. Headbutt, however, is doing slightly more. So it all comes down to whether out. Oh no, no, we, we actually attack first. So that kills him. Oh no, it's a Tangela. We don't have a. Okay, we have to rock climb the Tangela. Oh no, it doesn't do enough damage. Oh, we lived. Knockoff didn't kill us. Come on, come from behind. Come from behind, wind. It did not. Oh, Tangela got confused. Rock climb causes confusion? Oh yeah, rock climb does cause confusion. I mean, I'd be confused, too, as why uh opponent was climbing a rock in the middle of battle. Hello, battle's down here. Stop climbing rocks. 
Oh, and confused on Weeping Bell, too. I'm getting really good RNG today. No, he got me. Last Pokemon. GG. That was a close fight. Alright, well, I think... I think we can do one more match for this episode, and then that'll be probably pretty good. Uh, I'm stuck in the fence. I don't think we actually have any matches left over because we took so long running that one. I think it's just these last two over here. Yeah, it looks like these last two. Last one. Rampardos versus Whimsicott. It's not one for one point. Two happiness is one power. Yeah, I think it maxes out at 102. I'm trying to think of how it does it, but my, my brain is like half dead right now. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. I, 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 I remember the calculation, but I just can't picture the equation in my head at the moment. But yeah, max happiness, it would be 102 power. And then frustration's the opposite. At zero happiness, it doesn't matter. Oh, admit to reconnect. Oops, sorry. I even double poked you. <laughs> yes, and my OBS window was sitting on top of the pokes, so I wasn't actually aware of them. <laughs> it's cool. What's the new uh, team? Uh, you made it for one more round. Oh, Wobbuffet, Pichu, Kabuto, Rayquaza. Is it a legendary I round? Saw that. Please tell me it's not a legendary round. Yes, I got a Rayquaza from the random and not the legendary. Yes. And a Rhyperior. Please have good moves. Please have good moves. Air Slash, Crunch, Shadow Claw, Rest. We're done. GG. Game wow. over. Unless someone gets like a Zapdos. Or any ice move. Articuno, yeah. Alright, we got Poison Articuno Jab, like Hammer sure. Arm, and Strength on Rhyperior. Ugh, Destiny Bond. We got another Wobbuffet, though. I think I'm just going to throw him out front so they just waste time killing it. Actually, no, he's useful for throwing in as a switcher. We got Thundershock, Protect, Sweet Kiss, and Nasty Plot on the Pichu. And we got Rock Smash, Sand Attack, Harden, and Ring Out on Kabuto. Alright, so I think Kabuto with Ring Out is probably a good starting move. We don't have a lot of good moves on my Pokemon other than the Rayquaza and the Rhyperior, so we'll keep them for last. Happiness divided by 2.5. Okay, that works. Good luck. All right, it's Kabuto versus Chikorita. Not exactly a good matchup. All right. That Wobbuffet in your team kind of made up for the Rayquaza. All right, well, let's just start killing shit with the Rayquaza then if he's got a Chikorita. Air Slash. It's the only thing we had that was really super effective against Chikorita. Almastar. All right, that is Water Rock. So... Crunch would probably be the best bet. Rock Slide does a lot of damage to me, but I do have Rest, so I can still troll. And it gets rid of all the threats that would be to Rayquaza early, because he's going to be throwing out what's best against it. Oh, a Dragonite. That probably knows a Dragon move. Um, do we have anything that could counter a Dragonite? Because if it has a dragon move, it's going to kill me before I can kill it. So let's go over to Pichu. Pichu can take a hit. Nicely done, Pichu. And then we can... Nasty Plot, Sweet Kiss, Thundershock. I think Sweet Kiss will possibly infatuate. Nope. Alright, so he's got Thunder Punch on the Dragonite. Alright, Rhyperior. And Hammer Arm would not do well, but Strength will do good. So we'll just keep hitting with Strength. 
Nope, he switched out to Chin Chow. All right. Well, if we're faster than the Chin Chow, we kill it with strength. Oh, Toxic. All right, that's fine. I can last a few turns with Toxic on me. Enough time to kill you. And Strength again, because it seems to be working quite well for us. And then... Hammer Arm or Poison Jab? Let's do Poison Jab, because if we can poison him, it'll finish him off. Wow, we actually tanked an Earthquake. Holy crap. Um, Kabuto is only good against full health Pokemon. Let's do Monferno to finish. And we can... Fury swipes, I guess. Oh no, Earthquake got us. Um... Well, crap. Alright, Rayquaza it is. And we will crunch. He's gonna bring his Dragonite right back out. Probably has Outrage. Not a lot we can do against this, except... Emergency switch into Wobbuffet would not... Yes, let's sacrifice Wobbuffet so we can get out Anorith. And let's see, he just used Whirlwind. Let's try Counter. He's a physical attacker. Let's hope it actually works. Nope! Does not do anything. Man, Miracle does a little bit of damage. Even though it shouldn't. But whatever. <laughs> Go, Wobbuffet! Do minor amounts of damage! It doesn't look like it has uh, outrage. Alright, Destiny Bond. Oh, the Destiny Bond doesn't seem to activate first. That's an issue. Yeah, I think it looks like it only has Thunder Punch. Alright, well, let's ring him out. Wow, Ring Out does no damage. That should have done a lot more than that. Alright, all he's got is Thunder Punch. We should be faster than him. So let's do a crunch to see how much damage we can do, and then we'll rest. Oh, he missed with Hurricane. We can kill him. We can kill him. That was a mistake. There we go. Dragonite's dead. Threat gone. All right, Luxio. That's we... a threat. No, it's even damage. Because Dragon resists Lightning. Yes. All right, we'll rest. Because he can keep doing all the wild charge damage he wants. I can keep getting my health back. He yourself. can't. Yeah. yeah. Charge Beam, trying to charge up and get more powerful. And this is why I love Rayquaza. That rest is really trolly, though. And there goes Luxio and GG. Reminds you of that uh, Kyogre in your last Nuzlocke? Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> oh, evil. <laughs> Too soon. So evil. And the music ends with a triumphant victory, and we'll end the episode. See you next time.